Harvest Productions is an evangelistic and discipleship ministry of Evangelical Baptist Missions in its worldwide outreach of proclaiming the gospel. The film, which you're about to see, was filmed on location in the language and the culture of the people portrayed, and later post-dubbed into English to share our ministry and the gospel message with you in the English-speaking world. Cattle look good, big and fat. They sure do. Enjoying yourself? Yeah. So am I, Miguel. I'm really glad you're with me today, son. I am too, Father. My name is Miguel. Every year my papa takes our cattle to market. This year was the first time my papa took me with him. The Lord had blessed our hard work this season with good, healthy cattle. Today was my birthday and something told me my father had a very special reason for taking me with him. I loved watching the cattle auction with my father. It was a lot of fun. Getting the highest price for our cattle was important. Our ranch wasn't very big, but it sure cost plenty to run. With three children to feed, me and my two sisters, Consuela and Rosita, my father watched every penny. Everyone said he was frugal, especially when he had a good sale. I thought we were going home. We are soon, Miguel. I just have one more stop. It's right up here. Come in with me, Miguel. I'll need your help for a minute. Hey, Pedro. Oh, oh, hello. It's so good to see you again, Juan. How did the auction go? Real well, thank you. And this must be Miguel. What a big boy. You must be a big help to your father. I hear it's your birthday, Miguel. How old are you? I'm 12. About my order. Huh? You know, my special order. Ah, your special order. It just came in. Okay. Come on back. Thanks a lot. <laughs> it's nice, huh? Miguel. Papa, thank you. Can I ride it now? Sure. Just don't go very far. You don't know this neighborhood.
Where'd you get it? A present for my birthday. What are you doing in this part of town, huh? What are you doing here? <laughs> Trying to find my way back to the auction barn. Whoa, not yet. No need to rush off. I can show you the way. G good. If you let me ride your bike, little boy. Yeah, we ain't got no bikes around here. Be a shame to let this bike go through without me and the boys getting the chance to ride it. Is that right, boys? Okay, but, but please be careful. You bet we will. Hey, he wants to ride first. Hey! Hey, you and Mike, hey, watch out. Come on What a birthday. One bike, one black eye, and one very upset father. Turning 12 just wasn't my day. Hello, Miguel. Come on, there's much work to be done. You know, we've prayed about the bike. We must have faith now that God will answer our prayers. I don't have your faith, Father. The bike was stolen. In my heart, I know it's gone forever. There's no hope. Miguel, the boys who stole your bike are probably poor. You are rich. You have family, home, and friends. Miguel, what is the loss of a bike when God has so richly blessed you? What's so important about a bicycle, Miguel? Can you tell me that? I hate to see you so sad. It was a gift from you. My gift, my gift from you was stolen. Come on, Miguel. All that I have is yours. Work is a good cure for disappointment. Let's mount up and check our fences, okay? Yeah. <laughs> hey, quiet. I hear something. It's only Alfredo. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Do you think he wants to buy a bicycle? Oh, he only buys junk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on. Hold it. Let me buy. Hey, you want to buy a bike? What you doing with a bicycle, huh? Hey, Pablo, go get the bike oh, for him. Look at this. Let's, Let's get some there. of this out. Say, huh? Come on. Here it is. It's worth a bundle. I'm not interested in a stolen bike. Don't play smart with us, old man. <laughs> hey, throw it to me. Throw it to me. Right over here. Over here. Over here. All right. There you are. There's your hat back, old man. <laughs> Does it fit okay? Now are you interested? What do you say, old man? You don't scare me. Your load's not very sturdy, old man. Twenty paces. We can lighten it for you. It still seems like a heavy load. Let's lighten it some more. 30 pesos. 20 pesos. 
You sure drive a hard bargain, old man. Of course, we could take the 20 pesos and keep the bike, too. I'll give you 20 pesos. That's it. OK, 20. 20 pesos. 18, 19, 20. Oh, yeah, it's all here. Help him load the bike. <laughs> Lift it up on there. Put it up in the cart. All right, all right. Oh, there you go, Alfredo. We'll see you later, Alfredo. We'll see you. We'll see you. Push it. All right. One more time. Well, hello, Jose. Hello, Alfredo. What do you think of my bicycle? It's nice. Do you really like it? How would you like to own it? I'd like you to have it. We could make a deal. Yes. Use it for gathering scrap metal, and I'll pay you and give you the bike. I need money to help my mama. Ah, yeah, yeah. OK, let's have an agreement then, Jose. We'll split 50-50. Is that OK? What do you think about that, huh? That fair enough? Yes. OK, that's right, huh? Now, you take the bike and tie it to your car, OK? OK. Thank you. Uh, here, I'll help you get it down. Uh, be careful. Jose, you're really a good boy. A kind and considerate boy. Dear Jose, you're taking on a big responsibility. It will help us, Mother. And Papa. What about Papa? His pride will be hurt, Jose. No, Elena. The bike is a handout. Have you no pride? Yes, I have pride in a son who wants to share our burden not spend hard-earned money drinking and playing cards. Enough! No wonder your brother did not wish to talk to you, or even want to see you. I don't want to talk about Juan. He's dead. No. The only one who is dead is you, Carlos. You have killed your talent and pride with drink and cards. I'll hear no more, woman. That's enough. I don't have to listen to this. Carlos! Carlos! I see you got a lot. Yes. You're doing a great job for me, Jose. You will soon have earned that bike. You're my best worker. Just put it over there. That's right. Uh, here's your money. Thanks. Goodbye.
Is that you? I came home for more money. No, Carlos, please, no. Carlos, no, you can't. Where's that boy's money? I know he has some. There it is. It's only a loan. He'll never miss it. Oh, no, Carlos, that's Jose's. It's time he started paying his way. I put a roof over his head and food on his plate. A few dollars won't make much difference to him anyway. No, Carlos, it's wrong. Please don't. Ah. Get out of the way, woman. <gasps> Let me have two. Let me have two cards. Two cards. I'll take two. Buddy, deal a new hand. Let's get another one going here. All right, any up, any up. Everybody in. You're not in over there. Okay, all right. Looks like Carlos is beat again, huh, Carlos? I have one more bet to make. My bicycle. Come on, what good's a bike to us? Pawn it, sell it. It's worth some money. You're out of this chair. <laughs> hey, where is this bike, Carlos? Right over there. Can't you see it? <laughs> Carlos is seeing things. He drinks too much. <laughs> and booze is affecting his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Look, it's my bicycle. Miguel, Miguel, wait. You're mighty brave coming all the way up here without your gang. What? Get off! Miguel! Miguel, stop that! Miguel, enough! Both of you, stop that! Get up now! Miguel, what are you doing, huh? He stole my bicycle. Yours isn't the only red bike. Look, it has our address on it. I can explain that. Well, let's hear it. It better be good. My parents are both dead. Mama worked herself to death. Oh? For 15 children. 15? Yes. My papa, he made me work since I was three. He used to whip. I still have scars. Later, he left us. Then one horrible night, my mother came from the factory and she collapsed. But I helped her up. I cried, Mama, Mama. But she was dead. We were all alone. Can he stay with us, Juan, please? Yes, I can work hard. Your story's touching. I tell you what, I'm going to let you stay. I'm doing it because you found Miguel's bike and bravely returned it. It'll be your reward. You may stay here as long as you like. You'll be a part of our family now, Jose. Wonderful. Is that OK? Yes, of course. Papa, can we go play now? OK. That was so precious. Juan, I'm very proud of you. His story is so sad. Yes, perhaps too sad. What, dear? Oh, nothing. It's really nothing. and free. I watch my son and his friend and I think of my own brother. We too were friends. Now we are brothers separated by hatred. How I long to see him, to forgive him to his face as I have forgiven him in my heart, to tell him of my new faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, how I've become a new man in him, how my hatred is now all gone. Juan! You'll need a jacket. Where are we going? You'll see. Come on. Your brother? Yes. Miguel and Jose bring back memories, don't they? Mm-hmm. I have so much to tell him. If only I knew where he is. Come, we'll go to church and pray for him. We must learn to forgive others as God has forgiven us through Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus died for our sins and rose again from the dead. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Some of you are trying to work your way to heaven. But, oh, my friends, that will never work. No, never. 
Paul says in Ephesians 2, 8, and 9, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. What is this verse telling us? It's very simple. Our works count for nothing. None of us can brag. Salvation is free and a gift from God. It comes directly from Almighty God. But to receive a gift, even a free gift, you must accept it. Won't you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord? Your family is different than mine. I thought... I lied. But why, Jose? My... My father and mother are alive. I ran away. You're not an orphan? I feel like one. Jesus can help us, Jose. How? Prayer. He'll listen. I know. But here? Why not? He made it. He made all this beauty. He's here with us right now. Jose and I prayed that day. We prayed about many things. I hoped that he would pray to ask Jesus in his life, like I had done. But he didn't. But we did pray. Miguel? Hmm? Does Jesus like it when we lie? No. Miguel, I have something to tell you. Can it wait? God doesn't love me, Miguel. Jose. What's wrong, Jose? My my father and mother, they, they aren't dead. I'm not an orphan. I'm a liar. You told me, remember? I'm afraid that God can never forgive me. Can he forgive me, Miguel? Boys? Resemblance is amazing. Even so, your brother is dead. That's what we heard. It's too bad. Yes, Anita. And there was so much to share, so much to forgive. Your family has been so good to me, and I have lied. Let me tell them. It will be easier. Your prayers are working too well. You are praying. Jesus is talking to you, Jose. Just listen to him, okay? Miguel, thank you. No, Jose. Thank Jesus, not me. Thank you. Anita, it's a street address. Perhaps this is Jose's home. Fifteen children are many. Perhaps we can find his brothers and sisters. Fifteen children? Carlos, 
Mm. Perhaps Jose stretches the number just a little. He stretches the truth also, don't you think? Perhaps. Later this morning, we'll take him back to his old home. Perhaps Carlos isn't dead. Jose really needs to find his family. No, Father, Jose is sorry he lied. Please, Miguel, it is important. What did he lie to us about? Why did you draw a mustache on that? Jose's father is your uncle. He's alive? Quick, Miguel, where is he now? Upstairs. Let's go. Jose, Jose. Yes, Elena. It's so good to see you. Carlos is, is drinking in the next room. He's not himself since Jose left. Please, Juan, you're the only one who can help. Go on in. Hurry. Okay. Anita. Mm. Please, Elena, close the curtain. The light should not shine on a pitiful man as me. A man whose son is so ashamed, he, he runs away. My, my Jose, my only son, my only son, Carlos. Juan, I, 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 such a surprise. I thought, I, I thought it was Elena. It's been such a long time. Yes, uh, we, we don't, we don't have such a nice place as you do. Oh, I'm sorry. This is not a good time, and we have nothing to say to each other. Carlos, Carlos, I'm here about Jose. Jose? You know where Jose is? No, I don't know where he is, but now we can look for him together. I, I've not been a good father or a good brother. I'm a failure. When I worked for you, I stole. Carlos. Carlos. Juan. Carlos. I, I want to find my son. Forgive me. Forgive me. Papa, Papa. I know where Jose is. Miguel, where is he? What you must do, Jose. Yes. I must admit I am a sinner and repent. Good. Uh, why don't we bow our heads and you pray after me? Dear Father, I know that I'm a sinner. I know I am a sinner. I believe that Jesus Christ died for my sin. I believe that Jesus Christ died for my sin. I'm willing to turn from my sin. I am willing to turn from my sins. I now invite Jesus Christ to come into my life as my personal Savior. I now invite Jesus Christ to come into my life as my personal Savior. And I am willing, by God's grace, I am willing, by God's grace, to follow and obey Christ as the Lord of my life. To follow and obey Christ as the Lord of my life. P.S. Please love my father and forgive me for running away. 
help me to love him even when he doesn't love me. Amen. Amen. Papa! Fathers and sons should always love each other. Yes, Miguel. Just as our Heavenly Father loves us. My cousin Jose became a member of God's family. And when his father saw what God's love could do, he took the first step to become a Christian by listening to his brother, my father, read to him from the Bible. That day was a beginning, a new step for father and son, a new day for two cousins who were also good friends. Our Heavenly Father gave his only son to die for us that we might not only live, but also to live in harmony and love with our fathers here on earth. Mm -hmm. 